to my channel. Tonight I am going to show you a grocery haul that is from Aldi and Kroger and I think this is probably going to last us about seven to ten days. I usually go grocery shopping on Fridays but today's Wednesday and I went today because we just came home from Pennsylvania. We were gone for about ten days. Now we're home. We were out of practically everything. Um, so I'll show you what we got. I got a few convenience items and a few not convenience items. So anyway, let me just show you what we got. Okay, we got a whole watermelon, two bags of sweet potato fries. These were um, an impulse buy because they just sounded so yummy. We got five packs of butter. These were $5 off when you buy five at Kroger. They were $2.49 each, so that's why we got Lando Lake. Two bags of two pounds of brown rice. This is actually cheaper at Walmart, and I normally do get it at Walmart, but I did not want to go to a third store, so I went ahead and got it at Kroger. Some Greek yogurt. Two containers of sour cream. We got eight things of this vanilla yogurt. It was $1.49 each, and... I was gonna make yogurt and grab a couple of extra gallons of milk and just go ahead and make it. But then I saw this on sale, I decided that I was just gonna buy it. So we got eight of these for breakfast and snacks. We got seven Roma tomatoes, three bell peppers. These were 99 cents each and I had a coupon for when you buy three, you get 50 cents off. We got a container of half and half. Two things of almond milk. This was two for four, so that is the reason that we got organic. If it's even organic. Is that all organic? I don't know. And then we got two gallons of milk. It was $1.99 each at Kroger. Just so you know, I love almond milk. It's my favorite milk. Awesome. We got a bag of three pounds of clementines. I wasn't going to get these, but the kids talked me into it. It was $4 for three pounds, which is definitely not the best price ever, but it's not the worst either. We got how many bunches of bananas? Um, four. four. Four bunches of bananas, Ew. two heads of green cabbage, and one head of purple cabbage. We got a little bag of radishes, three things of extra sharp cheddar cheese, and one pepper jack. We got one Duke's mayonnaise. We got four cucumbers and four zucchini. And then we got seven 18 count eggs. These were 97 cents each. So we got seven of those. It's a really good deal. It's like 66 cents a dozen. Wonder if they survived the trip in. Looks like it. We got a bag of spinach. We got some Cheetos, Flamin' Hot, because we had a coupon for free Cheetos. So we got that. We got some Lily's chocolate chips. We got in a container of um, spring mix from Aldi, two pounds of Peter Rabbit carrots. Hmm, I think this was like five and a half pounds of chicken breast. We got one thing of low carb tortillas. I've never tried the low carb tortillas from Aldi before, so this is a first for me. Then we got two flour tortillas. We got one thing of romaine lettuce. And then some Stoke coffee, a thing of kefir for some baking and for some coffee? smoothies. I'm going to leave this on the counter overnight and go ahead and double ferment it to make it even better for me. So that's what we do with that. We got some knock your sprouts off bread. I plan to make all of our bread this month, but I just really wanted to have this in case we ran out for some reason. The kids have a couple of pre-made loaves still from our trip and I'm just going to stick those in the freezer that way. We don't run out. Um, we have five bags of green beans. Yep, we're getting there. We have some sweet potatoes, 32 ounces of spaghetti, and five bags of frozen green beans. Ruthie, don't touch that, it's yucky. So that is everything we got for the week. I will tell you the meals that we plan to have because I know you're thinking we don't have a lot of meat and we don't. We do have a butcher box that we got while we were out of town, so our neighbors stuck it in their freezer for us. Um, so I haven't gotten that from them yet, so that's the reason you don't see a lot of meat. I was gonna get a bag of chicken leg quarters instead of the chicken breast because they were on sale for 49 cents a pound, but they were out. I was also gonna get grapes because they were on sale, but they were out. 
so I did not get them. Okay, so tonight for supper we had soup. Tomorrow is date night, so we're going to have steak and salad, and the kids will probably have some kind of chicken. Um, Friday, we're going to have dirty rice with veggies. Saturday, we're going to have chicken with quinoa and veggies. Tomorrow, we'll have chicken legs. Um, Sunday, we're going to have chicken enchiladas. Monday, um, 13 bean soup. Tuesday, tacos. Wednesday, is going to be baked chicken with vegetables. That might change depending on what we got in our butcher box. And then the following Thursday, again, is date night. We usually have steak on date night. And the kids have something... I just, I'm not sure exactly what that will be. For lunches all week, um, me and Derek will have salads and leftovers. And the protein that we'll have on our salads will be chicken salad, tuna salad, salmon, or just eggs, fried eggs or something. For breakfast, we're going to have eggs and toast, oatmeal, or toast and smoothies. I'm going to have and lots of Caesar salads. Lots of Caesar salads. And for snacks, we're going to have smoothies. And we have a lot of random granola and crackers and stuff like that. So we'll be having stuff like that for snack. We'll be doing this for snack tomorrow cause we have a lot of stuff and we're using this instead. Yes, yes. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this grocery haul. I hope this inspired you and we will see you next time.